Hello, Charmed, I'm sure. Name's Alistair, and yours is? Ha! <laughs> Don't care! Yet. That is to say that you just let me in the opportunity. The radio demon himself is here. And you, my dear, are the one that has piqued my interest. You should be proud for that. Don't go looking at me like that, nor should you bark up the wrong tree. As for me, you have fascinated something, piqued my interest, and as someone who very much likes the art of sound, it's your voice, my dear. That has been the prime example of what has drawn me to you. You should be on radio, you. And, of course, if you say no... You can say no, after all. It wouldn't be free if it wasn't on the air. So, why don't we make a deal, you and me? Instead of thinking of it like a deal, as bland as they do in radio sometimes, or let alone those video deals, bloody hell, every time I... No, 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 no. We won't get into that right now. Negativity is said to give you wrinkles. And your face doesn't need any of those because you look like a million bucks. You look like a billion bucks. You look like a trillion bucks. And I'm going to make sure that that voice is preserved for all of eternity in the hellscape. <laughs> you! <laughs> ah! Ah. You better watch your tongue there. You are dealing with the radio demon, you know. Yet you don't look very scared of me. I almost think that my reputation doesn't precede me as it should. Do you not understand? And if you ever say no, you just have to make sure you don't sign a contract first. Of course, you look as bad as the Crash of 29, but right now you're going to be my voice. It's not to say that you're not attractive, I'm sure you are to someone, but to me personally, I don't really find that attraction thing to be quite up my alley, if you know what I mean. I'm more about the emotional connection. If uh, you're barking up the tree for something more, then I'm afraid you've gone to the wrong place. As for that... I think the only way to suffice this little game of ours is to put something into the action. Don't you think? Huh? Ha 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 ha. Listen here, kid. If I can call you that, you need to sort out things with yourself before you go and get on radio. And for that, I will be more than happy to be your mentor and companion in this goal. Because I want to hear your voice grace the waves. Whether that be in screams, tears, or agony. Of course, that's only the bottom line. We could sign a contract, you and I. Something that is far less predatory and definitely less dangerous. You, my dear, are meant for radio, and I'm willing to put my name on the line. As long as you don't fail me, I won't have to take your soul and broadcast it being torn to shreds on live radio. Catch it this Sunday at 7. I mean, uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, it's nothing to worry about. You are mine now. <laughs> you didn't look over the contract at all, did you? That's a nasty habit you've got there. If I was a con man, which I'm not saying that I am, that would be a very dangerous move. In fact, such a dangerous move, I wouldn't recommend it to my worst enemy! Ha-ha! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What to do? You've got the voice, but not the brains for it. That's what I'm gathering here, and honestly... The more that I get from you, the more that I understand I may have made a mistake. Just like you just made a mistake by signing that without looking. Ha ha ha! Ah, but it's all in the past now and this contract is a lifetime guarantee. So you will be my host on The Morning Devil. It's going to be the best show in radio. So, darling, are you ready for me or are you not? 
Ha ha ha! That was the only applicable answer there. If you had said anything else, I'm afraid you might have broken the contract, and I might have broken you. <laughs> As I said, it's not something personal, but I must tell you, just to warn you, this is not a game. And should you wish to cancel your contract, there will be consequences. Dire ones. As it's been expressly stated, I need to do this to close the contract. But you have signed your life away to me. I mean, your career to me. I mean, your future to me. Isn't that just darling, darling? Now, as we were talking, this is going to be a difficult day for you and me. Because today, we're going to have to learn a little something about each other. You see, I can't exactly take you on the radio until you're radio ready. I'm sure you understand, and more than that, it's an opportunity for me and you to acquaint ourselves with each other. If you're going to work with me, darling, it's going to be a fast-paced industry. It's going to be one that you might even lose your socks on. Do people still say that? Ah, who cares if they do? I don't. And you shouldn't either, because we're doing radio here. Not that bloody television. Not anything like that. And not a word of that, you hear me? Never, ever, ever speak of the television demons. They're so cabaret and... <clears throat> Where was I, darling? That's not what we're focusing on right now. So, your name. Yes, you signed it there, but I... Uh, <clears throat> your handwriting is a, a little bit... How to say... Uh, terrible. So, uh, <clears throat> aside from that, why'd you sign yourself away anyways? Ha <laughs> ha! So was desperation, my dear. Don't worry about that because you won't be desperate for much long. Even though you didn't read that fine print, I promise it's not too bad. Welcome! Welcome to the studio, where we will be enjoying the allures of radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be a blast from the past mixed with the future. You, don't disappoint me, kid. If you disappoint me, it would be breaking the contract. Ha <laughs> ha! You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Of course you wouldn't, toots. It's going to be a good day. As for the rest of it, I wish you a obviously good time. Since we're going to be working as partners, you're going to enjoy every bit of it. Ah. Uh, huh? What's that supposed to mean? You want to elaborate, or should I care about this? Hmm. Well, darling, that's going to be a little difficult, isn't it? Because you signed your life, your well-being to me, and anything I say goes from now on. And if you ever even get a thought in that pretty little head of yours to go against me, I'm afraid your soul is mine. Ha <laughs> ha! But I digress, and you should not fixate on the past, because this is your present now. As for what you are included in this, is I will take care of your well-being and your soul so long as you are useful to me. And, of course, I'm not a gentleman for no reason, you see. I am working on something. Something devilish beyond your wildest dreams. I am going to bring radio back in the worst way. <laughs> it's going to be something to watch and something to listen to all at once. They underestimated us when we were talking about the most important events in the world. But now the world will come to them one listen at a time. <laughs> You're quivering. Don't be. It's not going to be like that. I promise you, I'm not that kind of demon. As much as I have made you sign a contract that you willfully did, signing your life, your future, your probably love life, and everything else to me, despite my <clears throat> obvious disinterest in the latter, you may or may not be special. That voice does inspire a certain chilling sensation down my spine. Now... Why don't we go off air for a bit? I'd like to know more about you and get to know you as my co-worker as well as... Oh. So that's it. 
<laughs> you are an interesting one. Remember the part I said about not barking up the wrong tree, darling? You have to be careful with who you attempt to romance here. Not the slightest because I'm not interested, but rather because I am only interested in the emotional attachment. I'm afraid physical things do not interest me in the slightest. So, your touchy-feely intentions are not quite my game. However, if you so desire such things, I am more than happy to get to know you. And while I may get touchy-feely with the tentacles sometimes, it is for your own good. Ha <laughs> ha It is nothing to worry about. And now that we're together, welcome home! <laughs> it is quite the studio. Quite the den of sins we have here. After all, I didn't go through the Great Depression for nothing. And you're still firmly in it! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that aside, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing? Hmm. Interesting take. But I assure you, you should speak your mind, as I am on your side as long as you don't break that contract. And even if you do, I may consider giving you a special leave, if only for the fact that I don't enjoy... Ripping souls apart, piece by piece. Watching as the life drains from them as they wail in agony, deliciously, wonderfully. <clears throat> ah, as I was saying, my dear, it is nothing to worry about, and you have nothing to worry about at all. I will protect you. Not that you need protecting, as you look quite capable yourself, and your voice is anything but... Perfect. That's what I said. It is not perfect. That is exactly why I chose you for radio. Because I want to show the world something different. I've seen perfection way too many times, and it leads to the great fall. And as much as I love chaos and falling things, <laughs> I kind of grow tired of that. I wish to set you up and understand why you have such a great voice, but why it's so terrible for radio. And educate you along the way as your mentor and master now. <laughs> it's not truly a master and uh, understudy thing. It's more to say, I am your mentor. And you, you have a most important job now. Being the understudy of the radio demon, you have every right to most of what I have. As far as I'm concerned, watching the dregs of society struggle is good radio, but it's not the best radio it could be. As for you, you have a different perspective. Your heart isn't as clouded with darkness as one such as I. So I've offered you this position with... The interest of seeing what my polar opposite could do in the radio sphere. Ah, right. So that's what you are on about. Ah, yes. It is as you say. All of this is... show and tell, so to speak. But you haven't told me much of anything. Why don't you spill the beans, darling? <laughs> I could at least pretend I'm interested. Oh, the tragic past. It would seem you've got yourself into hell with quite the circumstances. A tragic soul, I almost said it's here. But that's not why we're here, is it? So, kid, what is it? Tell me. Ha ha ha. That's what you call that? Impressive in its naivete. Ha ha ha. Huh. You best watch yourself. Not because you're getting on my nerves, but because everything I've told you so far has been personal information. Don't go blabbing it to anyone else, or I'll kill you. I think it's safe to say your soul would not be in the same pieces that it is now. As broken and as bastardly as you are, it is not the worst shape you could be. As for that... I'll leave it for your imagination. 
And as for your life now, welcome home. Make yourself comfortable. The rest of it will come as we go. The difference is how we face the music. It will be something fearsome as it is gruesome. That is what I'm saying. Not every rainbow has a pot of gold at the end of it, my dear, but this one will. I am not some paragon of justice like you may think I am, nor am I a paragon of pain all the time. I have a bit of mixture in my soul, just like any other demon. The difference is, mine is a flavorful mix that's good for you. Or oh so bad. <laughs> Your reaction is why I need you. Honesty. Something the better man has lost over the years. As honesty died, I felt that my own dishonesty was highlighted. And I didn't very much like that. So why don't you tell me? What's your first impression of me? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to pretend that I'm not upset about that. For your sake. Ah. <laughs> so that's it, honey. That's where we stand. Your back against the wall and mine, pressing hands... Not touching. Ah. Uh. But then what comes next, darling? That is a question entirely up to you. Because I think you may have unrequited feelings is why you signed on so easy. In which case, I'm sorry, but I'll have to decline until I at least know who you are, and then the physical matters are completely off the table, except for... Ah... I can think of a few ways we could solve that betterment if we do get along. Ah, it's Alistair. Of course, uh, you probably know me better for my reputation. As for my reputation, it usually precedes me, but you don't seem scared, which makes me think I have not been doing good enough with the PR. <laughs> There's a lot more to me than what it may seem, doll. It's not as though I am completely without my concerns. Radio was overshadowed by television. I watched it fall. I watched as my empire, everything I held dear, fell in front of me. And I vowed to get my revenge on it. That I would make them all know. That I would... Educate them, bit by bit, sound by sound, until no one could deny radio what it so rightfully deserved. It is the best medium, and I don't care what anyone says about it. <laughs> in fact, I care so little that I would crush their skull in for it. But that's, that's aside from the point. You asked me a question, and I owe you an answer. What I stand for is not this violent facade. As much as I love violence, darling, it's not all that defines me. And in just the same way as these tentacles can be used as weapons or tools of pleasure, there are many ways to use a voice. And I think you understand that quite well. So instead of us arguing about it, tell me more. I need to know you inside and out. So, without further ado, just ignore those things holding you up. I needed a better look at you. Without the touch. These are not actually attached to me, darling. However... They are quite easy for me to command. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't look at me so nervously. Do you think I have impure desires? You're half right. But not the desires you're thinking of. Getting to know you is knowing you in 
every way. But how, I'm sure you're dying to know. Why, that is as simple as knowing how you scream. Ha 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 ha! It's not torture, I assure you. You simply need to remember the word to get out. Do you remember it? It was on the contract fine print. And of course, if you don't remember it, well, it'll be over soon. It's not like I would kill you or something. Of course not. Instead, a particular type of torture is a way to unravel who you really are. Of course, you signed the contract, so I need your verbal commendation of And just why did you agree? I don't understand it in the slightest. You make no sense whatsoever. In fact, so much that I can't find the motivation. It is what I would say if I was a better man. Ha <laughs> ha! Instead, I think you should remember what you read in the contract. And, of course, I, uh... Why did you just go along with it? The mysteries thicken! And you... have some explaining to do. Not because I don't understand you, darling, but because I don't understand you, darling! I don't understand you in the slightest! What is wrong with you agreeing to what is tantamount to torture? Very well. We will see if you keep that smile going on, unless you're some kind of... No. You wouldn't be the M-word, would you? Oh. Perhaps I was the one getting in over my head with this contract. Don't tell me you... You've been secretly following me for a long time. I... My God... It's worse than I thought, people. Right, we're not on air. Then, instead, I... Guess you'll have to prove yourself, then. Not because... Well, this is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Because... Well, I enjoy it. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, grit those teeth and be sure to understand your limitations or remember the safe word. Ha <laughs> ha!